Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another look at a few of my records um, from my bootleg, coloured vinyl bootleg collection. Um, we've just got a few more Floyds to look at today. Um, they're all on one particular label, which is the Aurora Australis label. Um, I used to have quite a lot of them. I've got about half a dozen left, I think. Um, but they're really, it's a really nice label uh, if you see them uh, to get uh, quality pressings and uh, really nicely done. Um, just before I have a quick look, um, I've just put a few sort of odds and sods ready on the back today. Um, the Bob Dylan Little White Lunder, Little White Wonder, um, is just a fantastic. Um, collection of rarities that um, came out I think in the 80s but this beautiful detailed cartoon cover uh, a la Robert Crumb a bit William Stoutish but uh, uh, really really fantastic fantastic sleeve uh, obviously black vinyl single album um, the Floyd on my ad uh, I used to have the original TMQ or an original TMQ of that. Um, this is uh, a double album which uh, was a repressing with uh, Circus Days which is another Floyd TMQ title from the 70s. Um, so somebody repressed it as a double album. So the front cover is the Omiad. It's printed onto the sleeve that is. There's an insertion on the back. You've got uh, the cover of Circus Days. Um, it's a fairly low value uh, repressing, but uh, I decided to keep it because it gives me both albums um, as part of my few black vinyls that I've got left. Um, the other one there is uh, Genesis Quebec City 73. Now that was probably one of my very first bootlegs that I ever bought. Uh, uh, it's actually on a label called Wombat Records. But uh, they actually used to call themselves lots of different things, circle records and all sorts of things. Um, their covers are uh, printed paper on card, quite heavy. Um, usually have a single picture of a, uh, I think on this one it's Gabriel, on the one side. Um, and uh, then the details on the other. So that's actually the back of the cover. Uh, but I, I love it because the sound quality is absolutely awful. Uh, it's like I said on the previous one, the um, the bootleggers uh, in the 70s often used to bring out these these records that were quite poor in terms of sound quality but it got a product out and um, so from a pure bootleg uh, for the sake of a bootleg if you like and also the fact that it was one of my first purchases uh, when I was a, a teenager um, I kept it uh, and then here uh, from the uh, Ridiculous to the sublime, if you like. Uh, Neil Young Trans World Tour Forever Young. Uh, this is a Swedish gatefold double album. Came out in the uh, 80s. Um, fantastic tour, fantastic uh, show. Uh, it's actually red vinyl, and it's a numbered, numbered limited edition of a thousand. So it's Gothenburg 82, I think. Um, so the Swedish uh, gatefold uh, deluxe sleeves that came out in the 80s were uh, uh, sort of grabbed as soon as you could. Um, it's the only one I've got of the of Neil Young left. So uh, so that's that. Okay, so Aurora Australis. Um, this is a European label. Um, I think they came out about 10 years ago. I uh, don't know exactly how long they lasted for, but um, well out of print now. And they will have a sort of generically similar sleeve, um, but they went for shows that were quite obscure, so quite often they were bringing out recordings that hadn't been out before. Um, and um, so they're definitely ones to seek out. So the first one is uh, Halle Munsterland, uh, which is Munster, Germany. 24th February 
so you've got this sort of uh, almost classic Greek imagery on the cover. <coughs> you've got a blue sticker here saying uh, coloured wax uh, number 303 of 389 made. So uh, they're all of that sort of printed numbers. Uh, that one on the back. Basic, uh, basic track information on this one. Um, so, yep, I'll show you the vinyl. There you are, printed labels, dark side design on them, and it's a nice blue, opaque blue with black marbling. They're often very nice, nice coloured vinyls, nice marble vinyls. Occasionally it's black, occasionally it's just a solid colour. Uh, so the next one I've got is a, a box set, um, Olympia Halle Munich, uh, 1977. It's just a plain black box with a red sticker on the front, which denotes that it should be red vinyl. This is number 105 of 385 made on the back. So inside <coughs> info sheet, the tracks. Triple album. They're all just translucent red. Oh, it's got a bit of marbling in it. Yeah, they are good quality pressings on this label. Complete show, 1977 tour, obviously all the recordings. Okay, next one is um, first international European pop festival, Piper Club Rome, Italy, 1968. Uh, then the Shrine Exposition Hall, Los Angeles, California, July 68. So two, uh, two sources on the one LP. There's a yellow sticker saying 311 of 390 made. <coughs> a lot of information on the back sleeve. It's a single sleeve. It's actually got a transcript of, a, of an interview with Roger Waters, the looks thing. So, yeah, this is yellow, opaque. Uh, standard Aurora labels. Ok, we've got Gently Stirring Sounds, <coughs> that's a single album, uh, this is John Peel's Night Ride BBC Sessions 1969, and on the other side uh, Hyde Park Free Concert 
July 1970. And a lot of information on the back. This time it's a gatefold sleeve. Information down below is uh, other releases for the titles on the same label. Yellow sticker there. This is number 12 of 375 made. So this time, we've got lovely sort of orange and deep yellow kind of sunburst marble. effect. So, lovely vinyls on that one. More vinyl. Some other. Okay. The next one's a box set called the 1968 Holland Box. This time we've got a cardboard sleeve wrapped around the box. Uh, yellow sticker says it's number 262 of 370. Uh, so you've got uh, Amsterdam 1968 uh, on over two discs and then the third disc is um, Utrecht 68, Paris 68, yeah, and then another Paris 68 from a TV broadcast. So nicely laid out, nice information, printed spine as well on the cover. So, triple album. Very, very thick vinyls. So this time, a gorgeous yellowy green marble so you never can tell when it's just got a yellow sticker. Really beautiful. Greens, yellows, black, brown. And the second disc is translucent, mustardy yellow with kind of lime green black swirled in it. Really attractive. So really nice. Completely different from the first one. Well and the third one Got how fantastic these are. Uh, uh, you've got a sort of combination of the two, I suppose. It's still a bit translucent, but you've got deep green on a sort of mustard yellow with some black. Really nice. Beautiful, in fact. So, a simple yellow sticker could denote plain yellow. That's something much, much more exciting. So, because you've got a cover to the box, you don't get the, uh, the info sheet inside. And then we've got another box called Leaving Space or The Complete Brussels Affair. So this again is uh, 
wrap around card sleeve blue sticker saying number 210 of 390 made so it's um, Brussels 5th of December 1972 complete show and then on the final disc got some additional tracks from uh, Brighton England 72 and also Tokyo 72 some of this is from a radio broadcast so I go to a bit of trouble to find nice sources these are blue vinyls triple album again so it's a uh, lovely translucent blue with black marbling that comes over And then again, slightly lighter, more translucent blue, a beautiful marbling effect. Almost like aqu aquamarine blue. Um, same again on the final one. These have got bits all over them from the paper sleeves. Cleaning up a bit, but um, absolutely as new, has been played. Okay, and then the last one we've got is Freeform Freakouts, which is a double album, gatefold sleeve. Uh, it's a rare collection of film appearances, radio and television broadcasts presented in the best possible sound quality. So various stuff, mostly early 67, 68, 69 through to 1970. Green sticker says uh, number 19 of 376 made. More information on the back. Gateful sleeve. marbled green translucent vinyl and the other one's just a Slightly darker green, marbled. So they're really nice discs. And interesting sources, and definitely worth checking out. And they're quite hard to find. And it's an exclusive Floyd label, I think they only do Floyd, I think Floyd titles. So that's the uh, Aurora Australis uh, bootleg label. So uh, thanks for watching and see you again soon.